Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our test account and we're gonna do a pretty cool thing. Um, we're gonna be going through and I'm gonna get the trial version of the Awakened Belinda. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick this up. We're gonna have it free for three days, which is interesting because where she is built, you can see right here, guys, we have her the 309 with a plus 30 engraving, possibly a little bit higher, but I wanna run her in the Guild Boss specifically versus Scarlet. I wanna see exactly what they're going to do now, of course, Belinda does bring the big SP effect, and a lot of players over on Reddit were saying that Scarlet is going to be obsolete, guys. So I'm going to keep this exact same formation. Now, I know the Awakened version of Belinda is not going to have an artifact on there um, just because she is the trial version, but Halos putting his cubes up real quick. I also don't have Rain. Now, Rain is another one to run in here. Um, that, again, does an incredible, incredible amount of damage. I want to see exactly where we are probably about five seconds left in this battle and i know again scarlet also yields itself to a very very high rng factor when it comes to her bolts which means that if her bolts hit other targets um she'll usually kill the other target she will get to the point where the other target will actually die that gets hit by a stray bolt and you can see guys right there the twins caught a stray bolt which I don't like the RNG aspects in this game. Um, I know Scarlet, there we go. So another stray ball just took out Halos. We could probably run this two dozen times um, to get it to work. And we've tried it and tried it and tried it. When we were trying to hit our um, 100 billion damage or, or the 1 trillion damage. So let's go five seconds here. Boom, 75. So there is what, 75, is that 75 billion? 75.5 billion is what we're looking at right here. Again, Halos got all of his buffs up. But again, with the addition of Belinda, we're not going to have the RNG factor. Now, I know her ultimate ability is AoE, but is that going to make a difference? And of course, Riz is only on poor level one, even though they finally put him in HD, which only took almost four years. But let's see at five seconds. So 75.5 is where we're at. And look at that, guys. The buffs start coming up on targets. There's the big ultimate ability. Buff is now up on Soros and up on Belinda. Look how fast she just ults, guys. Wow. The combination of her with Rosaline. And then, of course, Halos giving energy is going to allow her to ult faster. The twins with the super cycle attacking. Boom, there's an ult. Rosaline almost there again. But it looks like the damage overall is going to be far lower. I know, again, the, the dynamic with it is a little bit different. But guys, look at the ultimates. But it almost seems like it's going slow. Like the damage here is going really, really slow. Still got some time left, though. Let's see if we can hit that 75.5. Let's see, we're at 40 right now. I know, again, there, there's a lot of variables which are going on here. So even there, guys, we're at 46. The other team was at 75 with Scarlet and Bolts. Now, again, they're pretty similar. Scarlet does have a little bit more engraving. Um, Scarlet actually has the plus 60 engraving on here, which Belinda, again, it seems like plus 30 or, or a little bit higher than plus 30. But they both have the plus 30 signature items, and they also do have the 9 of 9 furniture. But I thought her damage would be a lot better w would be a lot higher let's try it again guys let's see and i wonder if a hero like rain with like the damage amplification is going to make that big of a difference or even running a hero like palmer in here um where the twins of course are going to increase the super cycle of scarlet but they do the same for belinda guys look at how fast and how frequent she alts it is incredible, incredible to see how fast she is ulting. But again, it doesn't seem like the split second damage output is there. It seems like to, to really maximize her damage, um, it seems like you're going to have to have multiple targets, is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like Cursed Realm, if you're fighting five heroes... Um, and you're AoEing five heroes. I think that's going to be the, the big, big game-changing difference in here, guys. 
Now, even looking here, we're going to be probably about the same around 45. Again, not even getting close to that 75 mark. A little, little bit higher there. I mean, 46. We'll do the same. We'll drop her out. We'll drop Scarlet in. And again, I know Halos, the buffs in here do help. See, the cube goes up right there. Even the other one, guys, the cube went up on it. I believe Sora's first. Even here, guys, look at how, how long Scarlet ults for. So not only the frequency of the ults, she starts an ult, and then by the time they all fall, it's almost ready to ult again. Wow. She still does. Guys, it still seems like Scarlet is going to maintain her uh her crown for for the burst damage. And the reason I wanted to test it is I was thinking about like the grotesque mage um and how Scarlet can do damage so fast on on a, a regular alt basis. Um so if you actually take it off auto and you time it correctly, um she can do burst damage so incredibly fast. It's just broken which we can see right here, guys. It doesn't seem like Belinda might have the raw damage of verse multiple targets. But when it comes to single target damage, it seems like Scarlet is still going to be the winner here, guys. Look at that, 76. Yeah, single target damage might be the exact same thing. Let's see the Twisted Realm. And I'm not sure if anyone in here is using any C. Here's Scarlet again, and this is, again, a formation that I see quite a bit is running Scarlet in here, but I didn't know if, with the trial version that we just picked up, if players would run that trial version. It is what I was kind of thinking, that we might see some of them. So we're going to do the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use the regular setup. Again, my hero's not really ideal. Um, we get five attempts. You know what, I'm going to do five. Then I'm going to swap a land in here, we're going to do five more. And see what we can get of course test server guys it's a little skewed um because there's not as many players over here it's not as as big not as many players play as um on here as we see in global there we go all right so we're gonna drop belinda in here we're gonna do the exact same just literally replacing mage for mage and we'll go ahead and we will um see exactly where it comes in and it seems like burst wise, it, it seems like she is still going to be highest. Let's see. All right. So two, 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 two. Look at that. Eight, 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 nine, nine, six. Yeah. It, it seems like overall, guys, 1.2. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, guys, it, it seems like the, the very, very short-lived burst damage. Um, and again, I, I wanted to try this because a lot of players were saying that Scarlet's going to be replaced. Scarlet's done. Scarlet's out. Scarlet's going to be replaced. Um, I think Belinda's going to be worked into some of the cursed rom comps. Um, I went through here and checked out some of the cursed rom comps. I didn't find her anywhere in here as of yet. So again, I don't know if it's just too early to have her built. But I kind of went through, looked at the damage dealer. Scarlet still in there. Taylene still in there. Um, Solus, Brutus, and then of course the final one being the awakened version of Thane. Um, even Salakai in here, guys. Seems like Salakai is making a pretty good, pretty good um, hold in some of these formations, which is very cool to see. But overall, guys, that is what I wanted to check out. I want to see exactly where they gave me Linda built. So again, I know she doesn't have an artifact, but it built her at. 55 so literally she's she's five behind i know adding in th this other part will probably be a, a little bit more damage um because of the changing of the normal attacks but that's a pretty big difference guys we're gonna have to see with some more testing exactly where she comes at but i don't think we're ready to put scarlet away yet guys i, I don't think it's gonna be time to put scarlet away to replace belinda but guys That'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.